This is Jeff Wolford with the Inside Swoop here with junior women's cross country runner Carly Kitts. And first of all, Carly, congratulations. You're the first woman in program history, school history, to uh, make the uh, national cross country meet. How does that feel? It's good. Yeah. <coughs> uh, it's an honor to be the first one. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so you're running at the regional meet. Uh, you had been on this course before. You've been in regional meets before. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, what were you feeling like out there? Uh, did you know that you were pretty close to uh, competing for the uh, national spot? Um, I, I had a feeling I was close uh, to being in contention for it. Um, I just ran as hard as I could and tried to pass as many people as I could to to have the best chance. I feel like that's a good strategy, just try to pass people. Right, yeah. At the end, I actually, I think I ran into a girl. Did you, I, did you end up beating her, or did, or did she beat you when you ran I into her? I beat her. Well, that's good, that's a good strategy too. I guess you just knock people down in cross country. <laughs> I don't know if that's a real, real. Okay, so you have raced in regionals before, uh, I think in your freshman and sophomore year, right, at UTSA? Mm -hmm. That was division one regional. Um, you just got done uh, division three. What are the main differences? Um, was it harder? Was it a uh, longer course? Was it more difficult of a course? Walk um, us through that. I'm thinking, let's see. Yeah, I think both uh, cross, I mean, both freshman and sophomore year at UTSA, that it was the same distance, 6K. Uh, it was at Baylor, so it was, I think the course was maybe a little easier. He had to watch out for bears and stuff yeah. while walking the course. Uh, um, and uh, the, oh, well, the differences, main difference, I guess, would be speed. I mean, they're a lot faster. There are a lot of fast girls yeah, yeah. in Division One. I mean, there are slower girls, too, but, yeah, a lot. I think the winning time was probably a lot faster there than it was at ours. Well, still, you, you're proud of your run, and you, you did oh, yeah. walk, right? Yeah, okay. for myself, I, I, I was close to my best time ever, so. That's good. That's always good. PR. Yeah. PR yeah. is what we call it around PR. here. Okay, <laughs> so uh, part of the inside swoop is, is not only to get to know you as an athlete, but to get to know you as a human being. And so what we're going to do is that right now. Um, we're going to do a little speed uh, lightning round. I'm going to ask you a few questions. I think we have five written down. I want you to answer them. First thing that comes to your mind, I want you to answer them. Do your best. She has no idea what we're about to ask her. I have them written down right here. Um, all right, are you ready? I think. All right, we got Craig in the background here. Craig, you're going to start the clock in three, two, one. Okay, Carly, first question. Name your top three favorite movies about running ever. Running. Chariots of Fire. Uh, pre, uh, without Limits. And... Oh, that's a tough one. Third one. Cool Runnings? Cool Runnings, <laughs> sure. That's a good one. I've wanted to say that. We, we practiced that earlier. Okay, next question. Other than Nick Huff or Matthew Market, who's your favorite human being of all time? Oh, Grant Spencer. Grant Spencer, good answer. <laughs> head coach and head women's golf coach. Okay, next question. Spell Missy Abair. Oh, M I S S Y. H E B E R T. Yes, you got it. Congratulations. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. Congratulations. Okay, now um, people have talked about this before. I think we've mentioned it before. You have a very unique voice. <laughs> I hope this is not embarrassing for you. You have a very unique voice. <laughs> to you, who has the greatest singing voice ever? Scotty McCreary. Scotty McCreary. Okay, now could you give us an example of one of his songs? Maybe sing about five seconds of a Scotty McCreary song. Go. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I love you this big. That's his first song. I love you this big. That was good. That sounded just like him. Okay, last question. Um, actually, we're going to sneak this one in. Bob Hepler, head men's track coach, cross country coach, also has a unique voice. Can you do a, a Bob Hepler impersonation? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Not really. Uh, he's just a little bit weird. He's very weird. No, no impersonation. <laughs> uh. No. Here it comes. She's working on it. She's going to work up to it. No? Okay. <laughs> Last one. This is a would you rather. Okay. Would you rather meet your ancestors prior to the 1800s? So all your ancestors prior to 1800. Or would you rather meet all your like great, great, great grandkids after the year 2200? 
Ooh. Probably the great grandkids after the year 20. Because think of all the cool technology that's going to be out. It's going to be insane. It's going to be awesome. Tech, but wouldn't you want to see like where we all started and like how you became who you are? That would be cool too. So, okay, we'll go with the grandkids, yeah? Yeah. All right, that's yeah. the end of the lightning round. The first ever Inside Swoop lightning round. Carly, congratulations again on uh, making the national meet. Uh, we'll be watching. Uh, if you folks at home want to watch or follow along, you can always go to uttylerpatriots.com. Thanks a lot. Thank you.